I participated in the election of Benedict XVI, the whole thing overwhelmed me spiritually. Santa Maria. And you say, here's Ed Egan, ordained a priest for Chicago, hoping to be a pastor somewhere in Chicago, and he's electing a successor of St. Peter. The people who will do the voting are the cardinals of the Catholic Church. The conclave means they lock them up, conclava, with a key, turn it in the lock, lock them in. Inside is really a secret. Once the doors of the Sistine Chapel are closed, and what went on, Simon, after the doors were closed, I'm not going to tell you. Even the Wall Street Journal is not going to get that out of me. Today, the cardinal electors are secluded from the world in a number of ways. They are required to give up their cell phones, their iPhones, their iPads, and all of their devices. Is there debate among the people, among the cardinals? The debating uh, all goes on ahead of time. Everyone stands up and says what's on his mind. How do cardinals campaign to be the next pope? You're not supposed to do any campaigning, do you see? There may be some maneuvering, but never campaigning. What actually goes on then in the Sistine Chapel, in the conclave? You sit down and you write out on a ballot whom you want to choose. And what you do is you hold the ballot high. Then two scrutinians, two persons who scrutinize these, pick them up one at a time and read the name. And then a third one reads the name and enters it, okay? If you have achieved two-thirds, then everything is over. If not, that they don't have the two-thirds, they have a thread with a needle in it, and they thread each one of those ballots together. They're counted, it's tied together, and then they're burned. White smoke means we have a pope. Black smoke means no pope. And now I have to tell you, Simon, this is a secret, okay? Now they do it with a chemical that makes it come out white. When a new pope gets elected, are there cheers, is there hugging, is there backslapping? What, what goes on? Yes. All of, all of that? All of that. Cardinale Ratzinger. The pope-elect then appears and blesses the crowd in St. Peter's Square. 